My goodness. All right. So again, thank you to Lurka. If you want to check out the game, that link actually goes right to the Steam page if you want to check it out. But I am going to hop in after we do the customary thing that we always do, which is checking out the settings. So let's see what we got here. It shouldn't be too much louder than me. It sounds pretty good on my side, so. All right, so we got windowed mode. Oh, the little, the pointer, the cursor, whatever the heck it's called. The cursor is a cute little hand. That's so cute. I will right, we'll auto set the graphics quality being epic is terrifying. Uh, dynamic resolution, I'm gonna keep off. HDR, I'm gonna keep off. Audio, so we can do, oh wow, all the volumes are, See, this is what I like to see when the volumes are so different so that you can adjust based off of like if you don't like the UI click or anything like that, that you can change that. I do like that a lot. Uh, audio quality being high. And then for game, show hints when combining. Yes. And autoplay dialogue will keep off. I appreciate that. That is like one of the only things that is really hard for me, especially as a streamer, is when you're trying to like thank somebody for being here or like say hello to somebody and the dialogue just keeps on going without you. It's like you missed the bus. It's like you were talking to your friend and the bus came and the bus didn't see you waiting and they just go. Like that's how I feel about the auto dialogue. <laughs> All right, new adventure. Oh, extras. What are extras? Free dance. Oh, my God. I, it's like a free. Um, somebody was saying that they actually spent several hours more in the game just working on their dancing. And I thought that was really cute. So that must be what free dance is. Aw. All right. Let's start. Introducing. <gasps> Magonas the Great, who is a moth. This is very important news. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, look at her. She's adorable. That is a chicken dragon. This is a cute intro. I like this. We're here at the magic show. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Peep detective with it being a little chicken that's so adorable. Huh? I'll keep an eye on the um, game volume. So hopefully you guys can hear it. <gasps> she sounds so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, her paws are so cute. Ooh. Thank you. Now watch me dance. Oh goodness. Okay, they throw you right into the rhythm game. Place your left hand fingers over the ASD keys and your right hand fingers over JKL keys. Like a piano, you must press the correct keys in time with the notes. Blue notes must be pressed and held until the note ends. Oh God. I know where every darn key is, but I can't do rhythm games. <laughs> Am I doing that wrong? I failed. Oh my God, y'all. I'm going to do my best. I promise. I'm just not super good at anything that requires like hand-eye coordination at all. Holy crap. All right, let me start the dance. Let's do this again. I think I'm on the wrong... Okay, we'll try again. Uh, what if we get stuck on this, y'all? I don't know what to do. Okay.
Okay, I'm... Okay, it's like very timed. Okay, now that I'm getting, like, the hang of the timing... <laughs> That's just a heads up, like, it's very specific. Yeah, if you do it too early, it just kicks you off. Ah! I'm too, like, far into it to fail now. Okay. I need to do way better next time. That was so bad. <laughs> My rank was SS, though. Isn't that? That's amazing, right? Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're gonna work on the rhythm game part. <laughs> I'm not gonna retry. Okay. All right, practice done. <laughs> now it's time to make a stage. The world must bear witness to my talent. She's super cute, oh my God. Hmm. Let's see, I'll need to make tap shoes, a stage, and have something for folks to throw money into. Now we're gonna go into how to explore. So to search the scene, hold right click and move your mouse to move the camera. Click on objects with your left mouse button to interact with them. Try to find as many objects as you can. Felicity will need to craft items to enhance her performance. Open the crafting menu by clicking the combine button. From here, you can click and drag objects into the crafting section. Combine objects by hitting the bottom button. Okay, so move around like this. Oh, it's opposite. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'll be okay. That's gotta be the fanciest thing we own. Pa's work got it for him after he was promoted. Now he's gotta do factory work and number of spreadsheet stuff. Doesn't sound like much of an upgrade to me, especially considering the pay's still making him grumble all day. Oh. Ma was gonna use this to paint over some of the wall stains and make a place look more presentable. I'm sure she wouldn't miss just a bit of paint. Okay, we've got the paintbrush. I just can't believe that Magonis is performing here in The Roots. I've watched the holo reels from his Palamount shows so so much that I gotta be his biggest fan. Maybe someday I'll get his autograph. Gee, wouldn't that be just swell? I wonder if I could use the passage into the theater to get backstage. Oh, damn. Okay, so we look up, we look down, look all around. Ma's pretty jewelry is kept in here. She says they're some of the only nice things she's got left from when she lived with her dad, and she's sold most of them. But then she told me that it didn't matter, because now she's got me and my pa, and we're the nicest things she's ever gotten. That's so cute. Ma's real corny sometimes. Oh. Ma and I always go and see the newest Giuseppe and Jilly, Lily, Lily, yeah, Lily picture when they come out. Mrs. Lily's costumes are always real pretty. Ma said she might well be enough. Uh, yeah. Ma, Ma said she might be well enough to go see the next one, but Pa says we ain't got the dough to spend on frivolous things. Well, I think Mrs. Lily's movies are required viewing for any up and coming star. This is a cute little like interaction into her life and kind of how she lives in a good way to show like this is her family, this is all of that. So I actually really like this. <laughs> Apparently, I did that when I was a baby. I don't remember doing it, but I'm still reminded of it by Pa to this day. It's not like I'd ever do it again. I've got an iron stomach now after all of Ma's experiments. That's, I, I don't know how I feel about experiments, but we're gonna, 
We're gonna pretend. Only Pa sleeps there now. Ma said her hospital bed is comfy though, so that's good. And at least they don't get lice outbreaks at St. Clara's. Oh. The Young Limerence Guide to Symbiotic Plants. On the vast, flora-diverse planet of Thalmeria, it can be hard to know what plants are safe for long, young Limerine to grow in his or her body. Some symbiotic plants can enhance one's body in very useful ways. For example, for example, letting mocha moss grow on your skin can enhance your energy levels. You'll feel like you just had a nice round of sleep through the whole day. However, you need to take good care of your moss and drink healthy amounts of water. Other plants, like wacky bark, can help your skin to be extra tough. Many flowers have healing properties. Other plants can slightly enhance your strength. I don't, I don't know how I feel about just letting plants have their say and just uh, kicking around there in your body, but we'll call it. Some vines are known for helping limerine climb higher and advance their grip. However, not all plants are suitable for the symbiosis limerine bodies are capable of. Some plants, like the common citric root, will actively harm you if planted in your body. You must be careful not to let citric seeds get into your food or water. All right. <laughs> the stars of Lemuria trading cards are only sold with Nutty Ned caramel candy bars, which are way too pricey. I was able to get my paws on these because I traded a posh kid some of Ma's good seeds for him. She was mad at me for a bit, said she wanted me to use the seeds responsibly. But I did use them, and I used them right. These cards are great. <laughs> I love it. That's a poster of my favorite comic strip, Peep Detective. It's about a little baby bird who somehow, somehow solves crimes even though he's a little baby and doesn't really know what's going on. I feel that way in a lot of things that I do, though. I feel like a little baby bird. My favorite part is when he goes, Peep. <laughs> oh. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a hammer. Pa used to use this to fix a few things over the years. Like that time the table collapsed when they danced on it. Or when I threw the chair at Uncle Marty because I thought he was a burglar. Now we've got hammer and nails and apparently have thrown things at our family members. But you know what? That's right. Ma told me Grandpa's in there. Pa's always wondered why Ma keeps the jar here, even though Grandpa wrote her out of his will. Ma said that honoring family is important, even if they were <laughs> jerks. I might have misheard that last part. Anyway, it sure would be nice to have gotten his money. I could have bought a Lularia to, to ride by now. Damn. I wish Ma would take down my baby picture. I can't let any of my friends come over with that thing up there. It makes me look soft and tiny and weak. You were a baby. You were soft and tiny and weak. It's okay. We're all soft, tiny, and weak at some point in our lives, and some of us are still there. Pa and Ma look very happy in that picture. They still look at each other like that sometimes, but Pa's been so stressed lately. Aww. Some folks like to hang from their tails when sleeping. I barely do that, though. Pillows are just too comfy to miss out on. Oh, that's so cute, though. This is where Ma keeps her seeds. She's been trying to grow a bunch of things done on her to help her get better. Dad doesn't grow anything on himself anymore because he doesn't have the time to care for seeds. I think he should grow some nice Petra flowers on him. Those relax him some. Ugh, if I could grow stuff on me to relax me or help my anxiety, I would do it in a second. Pa brought, home, brought this home to store his clothes. I emptied it out, though. The needs of the performer outrank the gross old man's shirts. Wow. Right? Sign me up. Uh -huh. Let's go. The wood's pretty light, so I should be able to drag it down the street. It's perfect for a stage. Oh, my goodness. All right. We're getting through. Yeah, you can tell that they just lived in a... They live in a house that's not very well kept. You know, times are tough for his dad... For her dad and her mom is in the hospital, so things are just, like, rough for poor little Felicity. An empty can of cockatrice soup. I heard of a guy who's friends with my cousin whose dad's uncle got petrified by a cockatrice once. Wow. Wow. That's how it happens. That's to catch the water that leaks from the roof sometimes. 
I was there when the leak first started happening, so I laid down under it and let my mouth catch the water. When Dad got home, he freaked out and told me not to do that. I mean, can you blame me? It was super convenient. I could get hydrated without having to lift a finger. Though, I guess I did get pretty sick after that, so it sounds like the planet's not doing too well because the water is not good. Ma used to make all kinds of stuff in there. She liked to try new things all the time. Sometimes she made real good things. Sometimes gross stuff. We'd have to open the windows so I didn't get, get in a coffin fit when something burned. The smells got bad, too. I kind of miss them. Aw. Let's see what we got. Ma used to... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Let's go. Little lower kitchen. Freezer. Dad likes to make ice in the freezer and then suck on it for a while when he's hot. I don't know how he doesn't get brain freeze. It happens, Felicity. It's okay. All right. I think we have everything that we need, but let's click on stuff. I don't want to go in the bathroom unless I have to. The pipes are all clogged up again, and I don't want to throw up from the smell. Oh, poor girl. I think there's a few more things I need. Okay, what are we looking for? We need to make a donation hat. Make tap shoes. So I think we have what we need to make tap shoes. Oh, I think we need to make it. Oops. Um... So we do have tap shoes. Can we combine that? Oh, oops. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so we got a can and some paint. We can make a donation hat. Nothing happened. All right. Never mind. We're going to get a stage. Okay, we've acquired the stage. A perfect stage for show-stopping performance. Okay, we got a stage. So maybe this to put it into like a hat. Okay, no, apparently not. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> These are for tap shoes. So I guess we'll put um, nails into the shoes. Nothing happened. Okay, not what we needed to do. So we made a stage. We need to make tap shoes and make a donation hat. So the hat, I'm not too sure of what to do. But we might have missed a few things to click on. And I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like, oh, no, I can do things out here. Okay. Maybe that's what we need to do with the bucket is we need to put the, no. Listen, I am willing to try anything once. So we need a donation hat and tap shoes. Let's see. The stage is so cute though. So we've got the trading cards. Ooh, a chocolate coin. I've been saving this baby for weeks after I found it by Lake Town Confectionery. Probably best not to eat it, though it's still nice and wrapped, so it's probably fine to snack on if the dancing gets me hungry. All right, so we've got the chocolate coin, which may be, no, listen. What were the settings that had me see? Show hints when combining. Okay, that didn't say when I got it in. Okay. So I'm curious as to what the hints are when combining. Let's try doing this and then, okay, that looks that like a happy face, right? There we go. All right, so the happy face is what's gonna show me that it's the right thing to combine. Okay, so we got some tap shoes. Now everyone will be able to hear my dancing. Okay, we've got tap shoes, a stage, and we need for a donation hat. So we're missing something. A donation hat. Oh, you know, the hat right in front of me. Oh, my goodness, y'all. A nice wide hat. I'm sure Pra wouldn't miss it for long. 
You guys, this is so bad. And a little coin there. Okay, perfect. Having the coin in there should get people to want to donate too. It's basic psychology. I mean, basic psychology, y'all. Okay, let's hit the streets. No one will be able to resist the rhythm. That's so cute. Don't know if I just saw lightning, which I may have not. Sorry, my power went out like 5,000 times the other week, so like now I'm super paranoid. It's time to debut. Uh -huh. I'll be the best the Roots has ever seen. Oh God. Okay, we've got this. You all ready? Okay, this is a lot easier than why did I say that? Why would I, why would I open up my mouth like that? Oops. Oops. She's so upset because no one's watching her dance. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay, it did a lot better that, that time. It was the sad dance, of course, but this one went a lot slower than that first one. It's like it's guitar hero, but but kitty dancing a hundred percent. are eating my chocolate coin please the show just keeps going folks oh and what kind of show would that be an amazing dancing show welcome to my grand stage let the top of my shoes take you to a world of rhythm all right My only thing is that it like disappears if you don't do it right the first time. So if I click, if I do it early by accident, I don't get the opportunity to fix it. It's cute though. Do. She's so proud of herself and she should be. Good for her. Aww. How did I miss? I was there. Do I have to click it again? I don't know. I'm working on it. I'll get better with my tap dancing. <laughs> Very nice. What a grand stage and grand stancer indeed. That brightens up my day, little one. Here, take a token of my rhythm appreciation. <gasps> we got a coin. Farewell and good luck. Oh, 
Thank you. Oh. <gasps> Where are your parents? Uh oh. They're they're at the plant. Your family certification? Excuse me? I left it at home. If you had one, you wouldn't just leave it at home while begging on the streets. Come on. We're taking you to factory registration. Don't worry, you'll have a new home there. I do not think so. And someday you'll learn to appreciate Green Star's generosity. Oh, the whole thing of the game is that there's this energy company that just uses child labor. And, like, you're trying to get away from them. It's bananas. Oh, no, she's so scared. We lost our donation hat, we lost our stage, and we lost, but we did acquire a coin, so at least we got something. Aww. I did it. I told you I could. I'm a dancer. Oh, poor dad is so tired. My knee is acting up, Felicity. Can you go give me a soothe pack from the fridge? Felicity can show or give items to a character by dragging and dropping the item onto them. Give it a try. All right, I got the freezer. Got our soothe pack. Oops, the other opposite direction. Totally gonna wreck me. All right. Here you go, Papa. Thank you. Was work all right today, Papa? Same as always. Too much? Yeah. I think you should tell your boss to stop giving you all his hard work. He's a lazy bum. How's Ma? You said you'd try to see her today. Nurses wouldn't let me in. She's getting some tests done. Can we try to see her tomorrow? Oh. I'm a professional tap dancer now, Pa. That's just swell, right? I'm trying to work, Seti. Oh my god, he leaves the factory, then he has to come home and do like all that other stuff. That's ridiculous. I should show him my coin. Maybe then he'll pay attention. Okay, we made some money, Dad. Look. Look, I'm a professional, Papa. My dancing earned money. I can help pay for Mama's medicine, see? I set up a stage on Ashton Street today, and tomorrow I'll be touring Earth and Beyond. How late were you out today? You weren't alone, right? No. The other kids made fun of the idea, so no. But look what I got. And I didn't have to split it with them. I could even save up for a family certification card. Felicity, I... Oh. Do my warnings not mean anything to you? Dad's worried, and he's not very good at showing it. You could have very well never made it home tonight. He's not wrong, though. I'm just trying to help. Are you really trying to help, or are you just chasing a selfish dream? Oh, Dad. Oh, I want to give her a hug. Well, if you really want me to help, why don't I just let Green Star take me? Ooh. Sure. Maybe in the factories you'll actually learn the value of listening. Aw. No matter how mad you're at, that's not a. That's not the way. That's just not the way, friends. You just go to the factory and then you'll learn how to listen. That's terrifying. Felicity, hold on. Don't, uh, Dad's under a lot of stress, but that's called, like, stress management, Dad. Not yelling at your child because you're stressed out. Oh, we're sneaking in. She's legitimately just in the middle of the theater. Her, her kid's tail is super cute, though, but I feel so bad. <laughs> Poor kid. Salutations, miss. Moth child! May I offer you a particularly perfect pun? Oh my god, and he makes puns. In this trying time? And he made an egg reference. Eggs. That's a hundred percent, Desaya. Absolutely. I'm already religious, so no thanks. <laughs> Good one. 
so, uh, can I sit here and test out some new material on you? I'm practicing to become the most famous comedian in the galaxy. Okay. Thanks. You won't regret it. All right. First joke. What do you call a cockatrice handing, heading to its lair? Stoneward bound. Her face. Her face is so funny. You know, because cause cockatrice turn people to stone. His little antenna, though, are so cute. Okay, next joke. What do vegetarian cannibals sit on Earth? Eat on Earth. <laughs> Human beans! Okay, that was a good one. She's starting to smile. One more. What did the weird kid with the joke say to the quiet kitty girl? Hey, cat got your tongue? Oh, that's cute. Oh, they're so cute. They're adorable. Oh my God, these little children are so cute. Ugh, my watch is louder, sorry. The look on your face. What did that joke even mean? What's a kitty? She has no idea. You've never seen a cat? Crab, hello, friends. Hello, hello. Crab, thank you so much for bringing your community on in to my community. I appreciate you. I hope that you're having an awesome Thursday. How are things going over on your side? What were you up to? Desai can't give you a shout out because he is uh, playing a video game. Oh, there he is. There he is. <gasps> yeah, I can do both. Yes. I love, love Power Rush Simulator. Oh, you were playing? I didn't know the new Final Fantasy VII update was out today. Oh, my God. That's like, I, I'm i still playing through the career mode, but now I want to hop into the update for Final Fantasy VII because I realized that that was coming out soon, and I am... Um, very happy that you got to do that. It's so relaxing. I can honestly just sit there in power wash, even if I'm playing with friends, and just like methodically zone out to it. But I am so happy that you got to play it. And thank you for bringing your community on into my community. If you don't know me, my name is Mandy or Wireless Riot. I am a Demi Ace creator here on Twitch. I like to do cooking, planning, journaling content, lots of IRL stuff, plus I play really cute indie games. Like today we're playing the fantastic Kitty Roo, which is a visual novel, a rhythm game, and a point-and-click adventure all rolled into one. But I am really enjoying it. We just started it a little bit ago. But Krev, thank you so much for bringing your friends on over. I greatly appreciate you. If you need to de-stream, please feel free to do so. Get a little bit of water, stretch, do what you need to do. And I I found this game on Lurkit, and I was like, oh, this is really cute. So I'm terrible at the rhythm part, but it only failed me twice, so. I'm working on it. <laughs> but if you're coming on in from Crab Stream, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And get on, keep the comfy going. I'm gonna hop back into the game and see where this takes me. So, so far we are a cat-like creature that can apparently grow plants on us. Um, we just got yelled at by our dad because our dad is super stressed out, our mom is sick, and we, um, our dad has to work a bunch of jobs to be able to pay for her medical care. We are very, um, we're very young. And so we're doing our best because that's what you do when you really love your family. So Felicity tried to go out to dance to earn money for her family. But there is a energy company that has taken pretty much like control of the government in this world. And so they take kids to work in their factory. So we're trying to avoid that and trying to make money and become the best tap dancer in the world. And we just met up with the 
child of who I am guessing is the magician that we saw in the beginning of the game. And he is trying to become the best comedian in the galaxy. So I think that we're going to make fantastic friends. So I'm going to hop back into it. It's a dark premise, but it hasn't been a dark game so far. So, all right. Let's hop back in. I'm going to actually move my camera, realizing that I'm actually on top of our poor little moth friends. So there we go. Sometimes humans call us cats, but I don't know what they are. They're earth animals, real fluffy and playful. I usually see a few when I go to Earth, so we're on a whole different planet, okay. You've been to Earth? Her, I just, I can't get over how cute her paws are. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that, that, this is the son of the magician that we saw at the beginning of the game. Yeah, so my dad is McGonnis the Great, so I travel with his shows. I guess I should introduce myself. I'm Zindelo Magones. You? Felicity Rue, her tail, like, sh being straight up right now is so cute. I also really love the texture of the fur on her tail. Nice to meet you, Felicity. You're a fan of my dad's, huh? How did you know? The card on your necklace. Oh, yeah. So, why do you like him? Well, for a long time, I've wanted to be a dancer. My goodness, the great is amazing because he has so much confidence. I want to have more of that. Maybe then I'll be successful. Eh, we're not really rich or anything. Dad's performing here in the roots now, after all. But he's able to travel the galaxy and buy nice clothes for you. That sounds like rich to me. I guess. I guess, you know, you always have this perception, right? That, like, other people are in a different place than you might think that they are and it's interesting to see how he's kind of like we're not really rich you know we get to do we have to perform like we have to go around the galaxy to make money and this is how he makes money so i kind of like that premise of you know she sees the grass is greener on the other side but honestly i have a feeling that he's going to turn around at some point and be like well you're able to be in one place for a long time and make friends and have a very enriched life in a different way. And I feel like that's probably going to be a, a thing that we talk about later down the line because that's really what it is, right? Because like rich isn't just about money. Rich can be about having like an enriched life and an enriched community and things like that. So there's always, there's always a different side to every coin. Hey, what's that in your hand? Oh, this is a coin I earned today. My first ever. I set up a stage and danced on the sidewalk. Isn't it pretty? Whoa, you mean you earned your own money? Can I join you? You really want to? These guys are so excited. It's so cute. Yeah, I've never really just gone out and performed without my dad. Oh. I'd love to, but I can't afford to travel to Dunest. I'll get the tickets, don't worry. And I'll bring one of my dad's foldable platform things. We can use it as a stage. Perfect. This is going to be peachy keen. My dog is laid down next to me. But we'll need more than just a stage. We should find some stuff around here to use too. Like some stage hats or a megaphone to announce our performance. Oh, a pretty sign to put by the stage too. Oh, but are we allowed to take things from here? I don't like to steal. My dad's working here, so I'm sure it's okay to borrow stuff. We'll bring it back. We are absolutely stealing things. I promise to the caretaker that I'll return them when I'm done. I'll start looking over there. Tell me when you find something cool, okay? Yeah. All right, so our goals. We need to make a stage hat for Felicity, then make a stage hat for Zindello, make a megaphone, make a pretty sign, and then show it all to Zindello. Okay, whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. All right, so this is like the point and click part um, that is almost like a finding game, and then you can combine everything down here. Oh, wait, I don't want to move yet. I wasn't ready. Get me back to the beginning. No. Hold on. I wanted to move. Oh no! It's t now instead of a pointer, it's a it's a dance show. Oh my god, it's so cute. Horror poster. Heck yeah. I tried sneaking in to watch this play once, but it was so scary. I hid in a box and didn't come out until it was over. Oh. It's based on a true story, too. There are horrible plants out there. If you grow on yourself, it can take over your mind. 
My pa and I saw a newsreel one time talking about it. Pa says, sounds like our politicians got some of these going on, man. <laughs> you tell them, Dad. All right, let's go into the corner here because this is probably... This is a big stage. Holy crap. So it went from, like, small, tiny room to backstage being gigantic. All right, we'll look up and we'll look down. Ma styles her hair based off of the magazine sometimes. She'll cut out pictures she likes and makes collages out of them. When she puts together the family albums, she uses some of her collages to decorate around the pictures. Last winter, we huddled, we huddled under blankets by the stove to keep warm while we cut out a bunch of pretty things from magazines she found near her work. Aww. All right. This will be perfect for Zendello to wear during his routine. Perfect. All right. So we found Zendello's stage hat. So we found his hat. We don't have to make his hat. If I knew how to sew, I might be able to make some amazing stage costumes. For now, I guess this pile can be my bed for tonight. Okay, so we found where we're sleeping. The tools of a creator are fine indeed. Ooh, and scented too. Okay, so we got crayons. Oh, that would scare me though. If I looked up and I saw just like a mannequin head, that would terrify me. Doo -doo. All right. I keep looking, so it's inverted. <laughs> hey, this feels like you're playing it because it's, it is March. Oh my God. Hey, level up lady. How are you? Happy Thursday. All right. Oh, we keep, it's inverted. So it's, it throws me off a little bit. Um, doo doo. Okay, that's costume jewelry. We already looked there. This play has a sad ending. Way too sad. I think the writer was going through something when he wrote it. <laughs> I mean, having the whole train, including the love interest lady, be destroyed in a big crash and the main character watching? Too sad. The part with the guy breaking his leg after falling off a tree was kind of funny, though. His scream sounded like a silly bird. Did you just spoil the play for me? Oh, spoilers, Felicity. Uh, oops. <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't going to watch it anyway. I don't like kissing plays. Listen. Another little kissing play. It's cute. Okay. So nothing here. Looks like I have not missed anything. We saw the poster already. Wax body parts. You, honestly, you know, you never know when you're going to need wax body parts. Doing good, just relaxing for a bit. Reminds me of Lack of Daisy, which makes me happy. I don't know that game. I'm going to have to look it up after. Is it kind of like a finding game point and click kind of thing? Now I want to see it. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. Lack of Daisy. It's a web comic. Oh, interesting. I know those aren't real. Might be fun to use these to prank my friends sometimes, though. What if the next time they make me crawl into a gross trash bin to look for food, I scream real loud and then throw one of these fake hands out? That'll get them good. That's horrible, but amazing. I appreciate it. I definitely think there's probably a real body part in there that... Oh, it's stage blood. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Or maybe they want us to think that it's stage blood. Hmm. Figured it out. That's the mystery all along. Okay, let's go that way. The Daily Leaflet. Cave and War Casualties Lead to Government Deal with Green Star. The Cave of War, an ongoing conflict against the star-eating space monsters that destroyed the planet of Tiradine, has led to a massive Lumerine casualties. Orphans and widows of the war wander the tree cities of Falmuria with hardly a coin to their name. As such, Green Star, led by newly appointed Wilfred Kroll, has proposed to various Falmurian governments a deal. Green Star, whose power plants, water fabrication centers, and factories have provided sucker to billions, is always in need of extra hands. Mr. Kroll posits that the orphans wandering the streets without steady sources of food, water, and shelter can find all within the factories. That's not an option. That's not... These can be solved without that. <laughs> Those poor kids are in need of help. 
plus crime perpetrated by young folks is rising dramatically. That is like, it's, it's a game, but like they use fake stats like that all the time to justify doing horrible things. And we see that everywhere. So it is not outside the bounds of like reality. Mr. Cole stated at the Fomerian government convention this week, a solution to both problems is to have the kids work at the factories. They won't work the same hours as the adults, of course, but they'll have a solid schedule to keep them safe and busy. Yeah, because they're going to work way more. And the best part is they'll be provided with housing and Green Star Company accommodations. You know, not bad at all. Nourishing food and access to educational content from Green Star Digital Libraries. Brainwashing. Mr. Cole and various government officials have come up with a system to help identify orphans in need. Parents with children who roam outside alone will need to register for a family license, which the child can carry. Children found alone without a license by local officers will be assumed to be orphans and generously taken in by Green Star. Not fishy sounding at all. And for what it sounds like, you have to buy the family license. So it is literally a, it's okay, we're just going to conduct your children. Like, what the fudge? Well, having some real music to dance to beside my humming and singing would be great. Zing, can you carry that? Uh, no way. I'm not that strong yet. What's the point of having a man friend around if he can't help lift stuff for you? That is sexist. Let's go this way. What do we got here? Oh. The feelings of creative power wash over me when I spy a blank canvas. All right, let's go to the combined screen. So I do have it where it like tells me um, that it's the right thing to do. Or did it not stay? Okay, so we've got our sign. Oh, it looks like between scenes I have to turn that back on. That's interesting. So we made our pretty sign. We need to make a megaphone, a stage hat, and then show everything. So we need a few more things. Doesn't fit with my performance aesthetic, though it does remind me of the history hollow reel Ma showed me that one time. It was about how the Kroll family used to be royalty and ruled the whole forest. Now their great grandkids run Green Star. Yuck, indeed. Indeed. What do we got? Anything on the ground that I'm missing? Oh, sorry, I keep going in the wrong direction. These are for the scenery of the plays. I wish we could bring some along to decorate our stage area. They look too heavy, though. Shame. What do we got? What do we got? Not want to move yet, just in case I am missing something, but I don't think I am. I really, really, really want to sneak down there and practice some dancing, but they've got cameras watching the place down there. Probably not a good idea to get absolutely busted right before we get the heck out of Dodge. Oops. Uh, fix swords. Yes. Ha! Take this! And that! And this! Whoa, careful. You're gonna hit me on my noggin. That's my favorite part. If you don't want to lose your head, then prove yourself in combat, Sir Moganus. You're on, Princess Kitty. Oh, that's so cute. I keep saying it because it, it just is. It's, I can't help it. Ooh, some hats. Okay, perfect. This hat is cute, but it isn't as eye-catching as a dancer's hat should be. Okay, but we got a plain hat. We can we can work with a plain hat. What else have we got here? Is this a Lularia feather? These are so pretty. The zoo has a few of them, but you can get real close to the one people ride. Okay, so we can definitely make a hat with a feather. Excellent. Now we need to make a megaphone. Oh, goodness. Oh, look at the ear cream. It's so cute. Eh, nothing good to read. These are all fake books with random words inside. Do the actors have to pretend to read them? That's pretty silly. Mm. I am getting a pretty tempting urge to write something funny of one of them so the actor will laugh on stage. Wow. What do we got? What do we got? Books. Old scripts. Ooh, cardstock paper. This paper is nice and stiff. I could make something with it. Okay, we need to make a megaphone. So, likely, 
I should know perfectly preserved fruit sitting in a rusty old car was too good to be true. I didn't get the chance to eat before I left home today. Don't eat it, Felicity. My goodness. Okay. So I don't think there's anything that we can really do with just the paper because we have to combine it with something else to make a megaphone. Don't have anything in my inventory right now, which means that we are missing something. Let's click around. See what we got here. Can we cut them up on the swords? No. Sorry, I'm clicking through it because I've already read this part. So we've got the paper and we need to find a way to roll it, I guess. So let's see if I maybe missed something because now we have paper. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Just gonna kind of throw it on some stuff just to see what happens. Because it does look like because to make a megaphone, I'm guessing we would need like glue, right? To glue the paper together or tape or something like that. So I'm probably just missing something pretty simple that's laying around. So let's see what we got. I feel like I just clicked on something, but I didn't quite make it. Costume jewelry. Let's see, let's see, that's fabric. So probably some glue or some tape. Nothing happened there, but we tried it. We tried it. <laughs> ah, there we go, there's tape. I remember when one of my friends said he could use tape to climb up slippery walls and that he could prove it. That whole thing ended with half his fur shaved off. Oh, poor little guy. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got a megaphone. Perfect. Now we have everything to show to our new friend. Oh, okay. There we go. What stuff did you find? Oh, I guess we can ask. So why is your dad performing in Felmuria anyway? I thought he mostly did shows on Palamad and Earth. Dad says he wanted to reach a new audience, one he hasn't tried to tap, tap into before. But he found out that performing in the branches or canopy is either really expensive or you gotta have a good reputation on a familiar already. So he's gotta start out here in the roots. He wants to make it in Dunest, Dunest or Spider Veil vale soon if the show, these shows go well. Sorry, but why do you have forearms like your dad? You're a Palamut, right? <gasps> Rude. It's all right. I didn't lose them in an accident or something. I'm half human. Whoa, cool. How did your parents meet? Dad met Mom when he was first starting to tour around the troop on Earth. He fumbled one of his tricks with a dove, that's an Earth bird, pretty badly, which made the crowd kind of huffy, but Mom clapped and laughed. She talked with him after the show and said she liked it. Dad was embarrassed about the failure, but Mom said that she worked with birds all the time and could help him. So she gave him some pointers, and then Dad invited her to see his birds. The birds warmed up to her really quickly, and she ended up training them with Dad. And that led to them getting married, I guess. I don't know what birds have to do with romance. <laughs> My parents met because of spiders. It's not that weird. Spiders? It's a long story. Hey, um, are you sure you want to perform with me? I mean, what? I mean, I'm not really, um, like you. What do you mean? Your dad is, well, you know, really experienced in all that jazz. You travel and probably meet other kids who do cool stuff all the time. Now, I know I'm great at dancing, but, well, are you sure you really want to perform with someone like me? Are you kidding? You made money all by yourself. That's the performer's spirit. I don't know what you're talking about, Kitty. Why wouldn't I want to? Okay, let's do this. Okay, so now we have to show him our stuff. Here's our megaphone. 
With this, we can make sure people all around us can hear us, right? Yep, they'll have no choice but to listen to your comedy genius. I hope they like my act. I've been reading way more books than I've ever wanted to in order to find the perfect jokes. Have you come up with any original ones? I haven't really gotten that far yet. The joke I told you about the cat was the only one I've made, and it wouldn't make sense outside of that moment. But that's what a comedian does. They make their own jokes. How long have you been wanting to be one? A few days. Only a few days? My good Palamut, a skill like that takes a lot of time and practice to get right before you perform. Hundreds of thousands of hours in training. I love when kids exaggerate. For example, I have been dancing for a whole three months, and after all that work, I am now a professional. That's how it works. Whoa, three whole months? Huh, I'll think about that. Maybe this performance will help me get inspired. That's so cute. Like, it's just like, three whole months, I'm a professional. That's it. That's all I needed. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we showed him that. Now we've got the hat. This is a nice hat. It's for you to wear? Yep. Reminds me of what Jeff, Josephine and Lily wore in the Silvery Lake of the Roots. Are there any hollow reels you'd like to watch? Oh boy, yeah. Have you seen Frontier Fighters of the Alcure Waste? Nope. What's that? It's really swell. It's about a bunch of draconian... Drag iron frontiersmen living off of the land and protecting the families of the plains from monsters. You know how Alakur has a ton of big beasts, right? I've heard a little about that. Super big monsters are in every episode. The frontiersmen gotta find out, figure out how to fight them. Whoa. Oh, this is nice. Anytime that somebody goes, this is, and then pauses before the nice, it's not nice. But you're Felicity Rue the Great, and I'm just Zendella Magonis. I need a stage name too. But I already wrote it. Can't change what's done in Cran. What would your stage name be anyway? Uh, mm. The Zipperific Zindello. That is so cute. Oh, come on. Let's tag that one as a work in progress. Aww. <laughs> he just nods. All right. Is this for me? Correct. I love it. And it's not just like my dad's either. You don't want a hat like your dad's? And I'm not going doing magic tricks for my performance either. Why not? Your dad's magic is amazing. Yeah, kids who aren't his son like it, but when you are, it starts to get old. I want to do something different from my dad. Be my own man. Does he want you to be a magician? Uh -uh. Yeah, well, he wants me to train and be his assistant more at least. But I've been helping him for so long. It's time for me to strike off on my own and make a living. I would really like to be his assistant, but... I agree that sometimes dads can be so pushy. Let's go to this fair and prove we can do this on our own. Here, here. Okay. We showed everything to him. Why have you got metal on your shoes? I made my regular shoes into top shoes. Now I can dance with a little tap in my step. Oh, I did notice your shoes were making noise when we walked in here. I didn't know it was on purpose. I like it. Okay, so we talked to him. And the coin? My dad barely gives me any money to spend. I only have a few Ven right now. When we went to Alakur, I found out that kids there get an allowance every week. They get paid every week. Can you believe that? Whoa, really? Yep, and they can spend it on whatever they want. Their parents don't go all, you'll need to get these socks to keep your feet warm, kid. Or don't buy Frontier Fighter toys. They won't contribute to your education. <laughs> oh my goodness. Parents are so full of root juice. <laughs> My dad won't let me go see the new Josephine Lilly picture, yet he's always going to see the newsreels. Hold on one second, guys. I apologize. My son's knocking on the door, so let me go check him out and see what he's doing. Oh, you got it? I didn't want to interrupt your round. All right. Says he's got to know what's going on in the world. Well, so do I. Miss Lily's picture shows premier. Sh Miss Lily's picture show premieres our world-shattering events. <laughs> hey, Wolf, how are ya? Enjoy your lurk, and oh my God, that emote is so cute. Hmm. 
I thought this is a little more voice acted. So I wasn't prepared to read quite so much. But <laughs> we're going we're gonna to keep on going. Looks like we've got everything we'll need for tomorrow. I hope it goes well. I'll head to the trailer and put together a routine. Let's meet at Root Station at 7 a.m., okay? All right, see you then. Aw. Oh, her poor dad is going to be so worried. <gasps> she sleeps with her tail snuggled in her. Oh, this one's kind of animated. <gasps> Look how cute. They're having so much fun. What do you call a Lumarine who's had a normal day? Uh, what's the deal with Green Star anyway? I think their, their routine doesn't go too well when they both do it at the same time. And I said, is that really how you want to look at the party? Oh, oh they're in this like little corner. This isn't working. Yeah. Do you know any of your dad's magic tricks? Those are perfect for two people to perform. Yeah, but that's my dad's thing. I'm sick of magic tricks. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. What? Oh. Those big kids over there. Look. That's the gang I run with. Oh, neat. Want to get him to watch us? Uh, no. That big one? He's the Beetroot Gang's leader, Lenny. When I told him I wanted to dance on the street and all, he laughed at me and said if I did something silly like that, he'd kick me out of the gang. If he sees me here, he might think I'm doing that and I'll be done for. He sounds like a real bozo. That's what he is. He doesn't sound very nice. Why do you want to be in his old gang anyway? Just leave. No, I can't do that. My mom probably won't let me outside if I'm with him. Safety in numbers, they say. Your folks let you hang out with a gang of street kids? Wowzers. Mine would never do that. Well, the thing is, they know Lenny and say he's safe and that he'll keep me out of trouble with Green Star. He's been an orphan roaming the streets all his life. Ah, uh, so he's a tough guy, huh? Can he beat up grown-ups? Or is he real sneaky? He's tough, but he ain't caught bashing, though. And whenever we get in danger, he always lures the cops away while we hide somewhere. Lures them away? How does he manage that? Uh, I don't really know. I've never seen him do it. Wait, you don't see him do it? What if he's lying? You think so? Lying isn't hard. Maybe he's secretly a cop apprentice, a junior detective, a ranger in training. He's trying to get as big of a gang as possible while undercover for riding them all out and getting a huge promotion. Damn. I bet he's got some kind of badge on him somewhere. Caretaker above, are you sure? Bet my bottom dollar. He looks like the nasty traitor sort. In that case... We're in luck. Look that way. You can't just go saying that about people. <laughs> That's Vera. She's the gang's expert pickpocket. She could swipe Lenny's stuff and see if there's a badge in there. Her? She's got to be two or three years younger than us. Don't underestimate her. Her little fingers can pinch anything out of any pocket. My pa tells me not to steal, but if we get her to do it, and if she gives it back after, that should be okay. The loophole. If she finds a badge, we'll tell the whole gang and force them out. Then they'll be so proud of me they won't care about my dancing. Good plan. Let's go talk to her. Let's... Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's got, like, moss and stuff on her. Okay, so some of the, um, the people on this planet are able to grow seeds on them. So they can grow plants, and the plants are either, like, helpful or harmful. And the moss ones, I think, um, are good for their health and keeping, as long as you keep them hydrated. Over here. What you calling me for? Who's this person? This is Zendello. He's a comedian. We were uh, trying to get some coins by dancing at the fair today. 
Didn't the big kids laugh you out of the room when you told them you wanted to do that? Yeah, but I swear, Vera, it's not a silly idea. I've already made a coin from it. Hey, I don't care much about what you do, but you could make way more if you became a swiper like me. <laughs> Listen, I need you to pick Lenny's pockets to see if he's got a kind of badge in there. Zinn and I think there's a chance he's an undercover copper that's going to report us to Green Star, since he always gets us out of trouble so fast. I don't know. I guess you must you might be right. That fella slips the greens even better than I do. Like I said, suspicious. So, what'd you say? Her voice is super cute. Really? Of course. Fiddlesticks. What do you want? I want Oh <gasps> That is so cute. I want one in real life. That big stuffed ferrether up on the shelf. That? Why don't you just pinch it? I can't reach that high. It's crime is tough when you're small. Oh. Well, I'm not stealing anything for you. You don't have to steal it. You could buy it. The comedian kid looks like he's got some cash. Actually, I used it all to get us tickets. Okay, my Twitch just died. My Twitch chat. So, that's interesting. Hopefully you guys can still see me. I think you can. Oh, you're way far behind me. Can you refresh Twitch and make sure it's still working? Because my chat just died. All right, looks like it's still there, so that's good. All right, yeah, my, twi my chat just died in here, but I have my chat bot, so it should be okay. Yeah, I can't see it on my OBS, but I can see it on my chat bot. Okay. Looks like you're going to have to trade for it then. Trade with a shop? You can do that? Okay, cool. Thanks, Sister Jude. I appreciate you. Yeah, I can... My chat died in OBS, but I have my bot up, so at least I can read it from my bot. So we're good. I can at least still see it. Just ask her what she wants. Anyway, I'm going to scout for some suckers to pinch. Tell me when you got the goods. Fine. Wow. All right. Oh, the hollow projector is so cute. Wow, this is a lot to look at. Okay. We are going to start. So our goal right now is to get the plushie for Vera. So we, if we want to trade with the shop people, we need to talk to them. Oh, the plush vendor. Hello, miss. Oh, my God. She's such an aesthetic. I want to look like that when I grow up. <laughs> Sister Jude to the immediate, like, yes, thank you. Do you wish to acquire one of my children? Oh, my God, her voice. I'm not old enough to adopt. <gasps> It blinks. Does this one blink? Yes, they blink. That's horrifying. Okay. We got to think about this for a minute. How much for one of those Ferrether plushies? I think 25 silver Ven will do the trick. 25 silver? We don't get that much, miss. If it's all right with you, can we trade you something for it? We're real good at trading. The best. We can find you anything you want. We can? Yeah. The little wisps of conscious thought in my brain have been whispering to one another about their current needs. I need What do you need to slice open? She is going to murder somebody. 
Absolute, yeah, exactly. She, there's absolute souls inside of these little dolls that are here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, I'm. You know what? I don't. I don't really want the plushie. <laughs> okay, we can find a knife for you. Yeah, we can do that. Thank you. You're a Psyquin. Are you from Noivus? I <laughs> I'm not very good at this. This flesh is from the far planet of Noivusy. That place is super cold, right? And has underground crystal cities? I see, I hear Psyqueen can use their psychic powers to detect lies and mind control people. Is that true? No. It's true. It's 100% true. But we can use telepathy to speak with others through their minds. We can also use telekinesis to manipulate the physical matter around us. Do you still live there and are just visiting Felmuria? Noives. I travel with this fair now. It is a wonderful way to scatter my children into the homes of many that they may thrive. Noivis did not care for my mission. What do you mean? People thought the creepy ragdoll on your head was weird? She is definitely... She's something. Can we have one of your sewing kits? Can I have a needle and some thread, please? I want to learn how to sew like you. <laughs> to be completely honest, yeah, there's a lot of definite, like, she's probably eating people. And you know what? That's okay. If that's what they do in Noives, I mean... <laughs> There's a lot going on here to unpack. It's just sewing stuff, lady. Her face is so funny. Oh, my God. No, she isn't. She's also dancing stuff. Thanks, Sin. Yeah, I'm also dancing stuff. Dancing and blood, I guess. <laughs> How do you make your plushies anyway? Yeah, do you stuff real animals or something? She's just, she does not want, she does not want to tell us what's going on here. I want one of the blinking dolls. No, you don't. Oh, there's my chat bag. I use fabric woven from, woven from the softest wool that Noives giant fluffy bats have to offer. It is then imbued with my love stitched with strands of my hair and soaked in the spirit waters of Micah in order to... Don't tell... I don't want to know about the possessed dolls. I just don't. The less I know, the better plausible deniability <laughs> in order to what? Trade secret. <laughs> okay, we need to go get a knife. There's so much stuff to click on, though. Is that a, a what's it? Shrub sheep? That's a plush shrubber sheep. Shrubber. I'm not going to say it. You see those animals all over the place here, climbing on tree trunks, soaking up the sun. Sometimes people cut the bushes growing out of them into cool shapes. Too bad you can't cut the plush one in the same way. There'd be stuffing everywhere. I tried to cut up one of my mom's houseplants like a shrubber sweep once I, I saw once and I ended up dying. Did you get in trouble? I had to stand in the corner for a whole half hour. I'm so sorry. The worst that could happen to you. <laughs> what are those big bird fellas? These are Laria. They're real common in Felmuria. 
Folks ride them all over the place, but the rider has to be able to repeat its song back to it good enough or else it won't let him ride. That's silly. What if the person is getting chased and needs a quick getaway from the bad guys? I think you've only got to do it a few times before it trusts you all the way and you don't got to do it again. And what's really cool is that when you rent one and then are done riding it, they are smart enough to fly back to their homes all by themselves. They are Chocobo. Have you ever ridden one? Sounds like you love them. Uh, no. But I've watched so many hollow reels about them that I'm sure I could ride one without any lessons at all. I feel the same way about driving. Who needs to to learn how to drive? It's fine. Do we want to talk to Dennis? I kind of want to talk to Dennis. Oh, that's a member of Lenny's gang. If he sees me here, he'll tell the boss. You gotta talk to him, Zin. I'll hide nearby and listen. Don't worry, I can do that. Poor Dennis. Dennis has sunflowers growing out of him, so I am actually very... all of Dennis's street. I am Zindella Magones, the son of the great Magones. What's your name? I'm Dennis. Why are you talking to me? Are you selling something? Yes. Oh, he's hungry. Huh? Was that your stomach growling? Yeah. Unlike to dandy kids like you, us street kids are hungry lots of time. Why do I keep getting called a dandy? Because your clothes are fancy and clean. Oh, thanks. That ain't a compliment. Well, what's wrong with that? You're soft. I'd like to see you wrangle cockatrice birds for your dad's show every morning without being petrified. (laughs) Never mind. Are you sick or something? Well, kind of. I was sick last month, so I grew some heel flowers on me so I'd get better. But I'm allergic to this. (laughs) That's the downside of, of growing plants on yourself. I don't got money to get him removed by a doctor, so I just got to starve him out. Is there no other way to get them out of your system? I don't know. Probably. For now, I just got to stop watering my skin and then keep eating crappy sugary foods to kill him quick. Being a Lumerine sounds complicated. I'm sure you'd hate being Palmet if I pulled out on your antenna, huh? Do you know a fella named Lenny? Lenny? He's the leader of our gang. Why? I've heard a lot about him. Is he a good guy? Or is he suspiciously suspicious? What? Suspi- what now? <laughs> Lenny's an alright leader. Not the best I've been under, but he's fine, I guess. He's never done anything that made you think he was a little too goody two-shoes. See, now now this is where things get kind of crappy because now that you know, you're a child and you have this running imagination, now you've made this entire narrative up in your head about somebody that you've never met and now you're starting to get other people to think that too so now they've got the little pickpocket girl thinking that you know now they're gonna get dennis thinking that so now turning all of these people against this kid who might not be that person and you just don't know i mean we'll find out but i'm just saying like that's how like all this stuff starts Uh lenny and a boy scout He's with us through and through. Why are you here at the fair today? That's fair. Ha! Huh. Huh. I didn't mean to do that, but I did it. Ha! <laughs> you snuck in? So what? If you tell any grown ups that we ain't got tickets, we're gonna pound you so hard you won't be growing wings till you're 80, Palamut. Hey. I'm no snitch. If I were, I'd have just as many stitches on me than you've got in your ratty pants. Yeah? Well, unlike you, as pampered as you are, I know how to sew, and I've been repairing all my clothes since they've been torn. I'd like to see you try a back stitch and whip stitch the gang's clothes when they keep tearing them every day. Huh? Do you do all the sewing for the gang? None of them got any talent for it. My mama taught me well and good before she got mauled. Is that Caleb again? Oh, no, that's that's not. I have no idea what they're doing out there. None. 
But Matt's handling it. That's all that matters. Okay. Mauled. Yeah, mom definitely, uh, unfortunately, definitely uh, met an untimely end. We need... Hello. Hello. Oh, we need to give sugar to the other kid. Okay. What kind of creations? I love this. They're trademarked, so don't go stealing anything. <laughs> this particular flavor's production involved extracting the sweet nectar of the boa, boa noa flower in Laroni Laroni Forest, which I stirred in the freshly cut hollow of a Terranic tree in order to imbue it directly with sap from the source. Of course, next, I needed to experiment with the measurement of sweetener that I mixed with the more traditional cotton candy ingredients, as well as find the right external toppings to complete the flavor profile. I ended up cho choosing light lichenberry gummy candy handcrafted from local confectioners in Lichenbaum. Jeez Louise, Pops, just tell if it's good. Ah, it's simply ingenious, if I do say so myself. Mister, can we get some cotton candy? Yeah. That would be one copper vent, please. One copper? Oh, uh, well, uh, can't we trade you something for it? I've got lots of cool stuff. No. He's like, no, I don't, I don't win on trades that, I mean, definitely not imbuing the dolls with the children's spirits lady totally doesn't need money. She's definitely the kind of person that just trades. Mike. Excuse me. I accept only coin, as they are worth nothing less. Come on, Pops, it's just cotton candy. My dad can get plenty at the store for cheaper if he wanted to. I am a small business owner with a divinely given passion for invention and ingenuity, the kind that gets squashed by big business. You know what? I appreciate. I appreciate this man. This guy's bananas. Let's just give him the coin you earned yesterday. My coin? But this is the first coin I've ever earned. It's kind of special to me. I get that. It's up to you. So why does your hair look like cotton candy? All natural. All natural. No way. You're pulling our legs. What's the truth? Well, what else could the explanation be? It's not as if... As if I somehow was looking to create some kind of cotton candy conversion machine that was accidentally fired upon my hair follicles or some such nonsense. I thought maybe you cut your hair to make it into the cotton candy or something. I, I love that one is much more plausible and the other one is just like, yeah, that's absolutely what happened. I mean, it's a rather interesting idea, actually. Let's stop this conversation. Do you travel with the fair? In the off season, I sell in local markets. I'm looking for an investment to elevate my business into a brick and mortar establishment someday, but I keep being brushed off. They keep telling me that no one wants a whole store based around cotton candy. Well, their scoffing words will not blanket my enthusiasm and invented spirit. Culinary science will not be held back by the unbelievers. What's an investment? It's when grown-ups make for money but are too embarrassed to call it panhandling. Damn. Hmm. I should do that. It sounds professional. And desperate. Hey. You do what you gotta do. Let's give him the coin. Okay. Here's the coin for one cotton candy, please. Excellent. Here is your creation. You can think fondly on the fact that you have contributed to the advancement of confectionery science. Thanks. Okay. Now we've got some cotton candy to give to this kid. Hey. Here's some cotton candy. Want it? Mm. Hold up. What do you want for it? I ain't getting bamboozled. What do you have? 
You want a sewing kit? It's only a needle and thread, but... Okay, we're gonna obviously need that down the line. So we've done the first trade. For real? There you go. Okay, we've done our first trade. Let's see. Gee, kid, if I were you, I'd head this way and watch my Rita on the Run Hollow Wheel premiere. Say, this tune's hairstyle looks mighty familiar. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Ooh, that's weird. These house houses don't smell like anything. Oh, that's because there are some beetle bugs living in, in the bottoms of the toilets to eat up the poop real fast. Bugs? In the toilet? Yeah, mushrooms too. They decompose gross stuff so we have no bad smells. You know, fair. Fair. Uh, back area. Oh. <gasps> Yikes, that's Lily. She's part of Lenny's gang. You need to talk to her without me. She'll tell Lenny I was here if she sees me and then he'll know I was dancing. Don't worry, I can do that. Salutations. Are you Lily by chance? How do you know my name? Oh. I heard it some from some friends of yours in Lenny's gang. Hmm. I wouldn't call them friends. Uh, what would you call them? Uh, what do you want? Uh, Is that a knife? Yes. <laughs> She's just carrying around a knife. That's just totally normal. I live on the streets. What do you think? Opening letters? She just waved it around. Like, here's my name. I'm joking. You could say I'm a bit of a comedian. You do look like a joke. Wow, Lily! Ready for the throat. Sharper than a knife. Damn. Never heard that one before. So what happened to your fingers? Was it a wild animal attack? You don't just ask people these things. What's that got to do with it? Oh, Zindelo. Oh, kiddo. Stay young. The manager had me crawl into the machines as they worked to clean them of dirt or anything that would clog them. My fingers got caught in a machine when I was under it. No one helped you? The crawl space was small. Nobody could get to me for a while. By the time they got me out, my fingers were gone. But I'm sure that someone like you has never had to worry about that. Are you dumb? I know. But this is like, if you didn't get it before that this was a bad thing, this is telling you it's a bad thing. So if you didn't understand before that child labor is not a good thing, you're getting it now. Which is very timely considering that there's a lot of places in the United States right now getting in trouble for child labor. I know. I'm like, there's some big emotions right now. Have you been in the beetroot gang for very long? Since I escaped Green Star, Lenny took me in. Dennis helped get the tracker out of my ear. Oh, that's why her chunk of her ear is missing. Because they put a tracker in her? We're taking down Green Star. That's nice. Why don't you call them your friends? I don't hate them. I like being in this gang. But if but if Green Star takes me again or any of them, I don't Oh, she doesn't want to get close to people. Oh my god, I want to give her a hug. What's with the scarf? It's too hot for one today. You are asking a lot of very inappropriate questions, Zindelo. I made it from the pieces of yarn I was able to scrounge from the factory floors. Green Star never gave us proper winter clothes, so I needed to knit something to keep me warm. Do you like to craft things? I could probably even make new fingers if I had parts to tinker with. Never found anything that would work, though. Okay, we gotta find her fingers. I don't care what we have to do. We're doing it. Okay, we can't talk to the popcorn guy. Popcorn, popcorn man does not want to talk to us, but we got to get her knife, so Vera. Mm -hmm. 
Why do you want the fear with her plush anyway, Vera? I know it ain't something useful for surviving or nothing, but I really want a fair with her pet, and I don't have to feed a plush one. It is very cute. Something for you to cuddle in bed when the nightmares come, huh? Shut up, Sinny. I ain't no yellow belly crybaby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe I can use it to distract folks with its cuteness while I bleed their pockets dry. I could even put it on a high branch or something so people think it's in danger and then stand and stare at it. That won't work. Real feathers and feathers can glide, remember? People wouldn't think it's in danger up high. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could put some cherry juice on it and put it on the road so people pull over to help it. Then I could swipe what's in their cars when they get out. I guess that might work. Those plushies do look kind of real from a distance. See, Vera, Vera has to survive. <laughs> It'll be my thieving buddy. Can plushies get gel time? I don't think so, Vera. Do you work for the gang? Sometimes. I mostly pinch for myself. Sometimes Lenny asks me to do jobs in exchange for stuff. She hangs out in the base with us a lot of time. Got her own hammock. What's the base? The place our gang works out of. It's our secret clubhouse. Can't tell you where it is. I took a pledge. Sorry. Oh, if I join the gang, can I see ya? Like Lenny the little dandy in who can afford a family license. Stop calling me that. It is kind of mean. It's not his fault. Like, he's just... Like, sheesh. Give him a break. You an orphan? Sin? <laughs> Kinda. He was in the war. Came back home when I was born, but mom died when it happened. He ain't right in the head no more. Sees the war around him even though it ain't there. I swipe stuff for him and me. He sells the stuff I bring home and what he finds in the trash bins. Green Star's got that whole recycling bottle program thing that dad makes a little from. <laughs> he needs me, though. I'm his number one recon scout. Which war did he fight him? The Caven War. He doesn't think the Caven were truly gone, though. He thinks they're coming back, and that Tyradine wasn't the last planet to get wrecked. He keeps looking at the sky, watches the sun to see if it's dimmed, if the Caven are eating it. How wasn't he blind yet? Real good sunglasses. It's so sad to hear the stories. Like, it's it's really good world building, though, because it's a very short game. So I think that it's really smart that they do a lot of very good, um, like, background stuff. And it might sound, like, very... Um, like, harsh questions. But it definitely is, like, a very quick way of world building. How'd you get good at stealing stuff? I'm just very slippery and very fast. The best in the biz. Oh, come on, Vera. Just tell him. <laughs> I live in an abandoned clothes store. There are a bunch of mannequins all dressed up with pockets and purses. I practice over and over swiping things I put on them. I got real good at it. Started doing it on the gang, too, until they didn't know a thing had gone. I'm just the best. I heard the human king in Tareen's gang is the best swiper in the roots, though. Doubt it. I'd like to see him try to get a wool over a copper like I've done. Okay, here we go. So we got the outhouses. We did. We got the cotton candy. We fed, We need to get the knife, which means that we need to get... What did she need? I don't think, oh, I forgot what she needed. Oops. Ah. Sorry, clicking out. Ah. No, I've already done this. Okay. Uh, back to here. Ugh, did it again. I need to be more careful about where I click. Uh, back area. I forgot what she wants. Oh, something to make uh, fingers out of. Okay. It sounds really weird when you say it, but just where we are. Hey, these balloon animals are real neat. Oh, terrifying. Have you ever seen a moving ones like this? Where'd you get them? I make the balloon animal part, but I have a supplier from Palamad who sends me these little lightweight exoskeletons. Some kids who buy my animals end up reusing the metal parts for their own little crafts and projects, like long grabber hands and flapper paper planes. That's what we need. Ooh. 
can we trade you something for an animal? Well, I don't normally do stuff like that, but... Actually, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bending down to pick up a balloon I dropped, I uh, had a bit of an accident. I need some kind of way to patch up my pants. If you can find me something, I'll give you one of my animals. I don't tend to carry sewing needles around since, you know, they're hazardous to my product. Okay, we do have that. Can you teach Zin how to be a comedian? Wow. I need a mentor. Oh dear, I don't think I'd be very good at teaching that. Why not? Oh well, I used to be a circus clown for a living, but kids these days just aren't laughing at that kind of stuff anymore. It's all technology and space travel now. No one wants to see a bunch of silly guys get into a tiny car. They'd rather see Earth robots and giant creatures from Drake, Drake Iron. I mean, yeah. So I quit and became a balloon animal guy. The moving exoskeletons add extra text and techno pizzazz. I just dress up as a clown because it's still fun for me. Aw, mister, I'm sure you're funny. Yeah, why don't you give an example of your old act? You might be forgetting that clown humor is mostly visual. We're generally silent. Comedians are quite the opposite. I bet my mom wishes I wanted to be a clown instead. <laughs> wow. Why did you become a clown? I wanted to make people smile and laugh. I also had crippling mortgage debt and only the circus would hire me. Oh, I thought it would because you ran away as a kid to the circus because they would... Wow, that's rude. I'm not going to read that one out loud. Wow. I can already tell you're going to be a controversial public comedy comedic figure. Perfect. Wow. Yeah, there's always certain things that I'm not going to read out loud. If it's like... Um, if it's ableist or if it's just kind of inappropriate, I generally don't. I generally don't read those things out loud, and I do always encourage writers to think about those things and the kind of writing that you're making when you make games. Just, just thought. All right, so and kid, here you go, Mister. You can have this in exchange for the balloon animal. Oh, hey, just what I needed to fix this embarrassing mistake. Thanks, kid. Here, take this balloon, McKenny. Oh, okay. Can't go that way. Oh, there's... Should we talk to Lenny? I guess this will be Lenny's backstory. <laughs> That's Lenny. Make sure he doesn't see you. Okay. Well, we don't want to talk to Lenny, I guess. Okay. Now we're going to go and give... Her the balloon animal with the exoskeleton. Hey, Lily. Do you want to trade this balloon animal for your knife? Why would I do that? This is one of those advanced ones with the moving skeletons. You can use the mechanical parts to, like, have a grabber hand to replace your missing fingers. See? Oh. Hmm. That's nice. You could use your thumb to activate the grab. There's a little button here. Might have to adjust the mechanic stuff, though. Hmm. I can do that. I learned a lot working. I learned a lot while working on the machines. It's cool. So can I trade for that knife? Uh, I suppose. I have another knife on me and plenty of shivs at the hideout. Uh, <laughs> he's terrified of her. Okay. Got the knife. Back to... Oh, I did the thing. Oh, look at the cute little thing. Um, the sheep thing, though. Plaza. There we go. The plush lady. Here's a knife for you, miss. Use it responsibly. She's going to stab us. You may abscond with one of my fair other children. Thanks, miss. Hope you enjoy your cake. Absolutely not. <laughs> He's like, oh, yes, my lie. All right. Now we go back here. Back to Vera, I give her the plush. Here's the plushie, Vera. Now go get Lenny. Let's expose him for who he really is. <gasps> so soft. I don't know what I'll really find on Lenny, but all right. I'll be just a tick. I guess now we're gonna see if the gang leader really is a traitor. Yeah, though, what? If Lenny really is a cop apprentice, then what'll happen to the gang? I don't want everyone to split up to different gangs. There, 
They're my friends. I've talked with them, and it seems to me like they're really rude. Why bother with this gang anymore? Just find a better one. Ooh. I don't think I like Zindello. I don't think I like that at all. You just met these kids. Talked to them for five sentences and are already judging them, and they've had a really freaking hard life. To you, they might seem rude, but they've never met you before. I've known them for a while, and to me, they're friends. What have they done for you that makes them friends? When I was lost in the roots, back when I didn't know them good, Lenny found me and brought me to the hideout. He introduced me to the beetroot gang and said I'd find a good place to hide there. Dennis always stitches up the tears in my dresses for me. He tells me that I've got good clothes and I should take care of them. Lily is quiet, but that can be nice. She'll sit and listen to the radio with me and then listen when I talk to her about the hollow reels I've seen. She said she's going to teach me how to throw knives when I'm bigger. The other kids like that too. Sometimes they can be mean, but they can also be real nice. Maybe that's just how family is sometimes. I guess that's true. My mom and dad yell at me to do boring old stuff and chores sometimes, but they also hug me and always make sure I'm okay. Yeah. Vera, what'd you find? Well, first things first. He and a copper. Rats. Thought I had him. But I did find. Hmm. Oh, he's got a family license. So he's just been helping the orphans because he can safely do that. He doesn't have to worry about being taken by the police because he has a family license. Oh. So he's just a good person. See, that's what you get for thinking bad things about people. Oh. Wait, Mariano? No. What? Yep, that white blibber dunderheaded fraud. They're not seeing like what good he's doing. What's that? It's a family license. He's had parents and money all along. A what now? You haven't heard of a family license? They haven't got those on Palamon? Nope. What's so special about them? If you don't want Green Star to take you away to the factories if they catch you wandering around without your parents, you gotta buy a government family license to prove you aren't an orphan and all. But the rub is, even if you have parents, the licenses can be expensive. So real poor kids like us, who gotta wander the streets because we ain't got school, get taken by Green Star anyway. So you're saying that Lenny's got two parents and money for a license? Is that bad? Yeah. Well, no. The thing is, he's always told us that he's an orphan with no real home beside the beetroot base. Says he grew up on the streets and learned everything there is to know about being a street kid. Always told us he didn't have a copper to his name or parents to weigh him down. And whenever he hides us from Green Star, he tells tales about how he distracts them and expertly leads them away from us before disappearing from their sight. He was really just showing them his license and then strolling back to us without a care in the world. But he's getting them away from you. <laughs> He's distracting them so they don't take you. Oh, but they don't see it. So if he tries to bully you about dancing, you can just show him and his gang the license. And that'll shut him up real quick. Yeah, he'll be exposed and have no choice but to let me stay. All right then, so we can probably finally perform again? No more bullies to blackmail? Huh. Nope. Thank you. Thanks, Vera. Mm -hmm. No problem. I'll be watching when you expose that liar. Oh, we really can't do that to this kid, though. Come on, Zen, let's earn some dough. Didn't this whole thing not work out too well the last time we tried, though? You're right. What's something we can perform together? Oh, you ever sung, Zen? Yeah. Actually, my mom and I sing all the time when we're on road trips with Dad. Perfect. I sing a bunch, too, especially when the gang and I are searching for stuff to sell in the junkyard. We should sing our performance as our performance. Do we know any of the same songs? What about one of the songs that plays before your dad's show start? Like, The Magician of the Wild? Uh -huh. Yeah, I can sing that. <laughs> Perfect, let's do it. Okay, it's probably the same rhythm game. Okay, we're ready? All right, here we go. Wow, this song is dark.
the fuck? This is an interesting song. That's a, that's a song. <laughs> yes, rude. I had a combo though. Whoa. Wowie. This is the first time I've ever had money that I've earned by myself. I feel empowered. It's great, isn't it? What should we spend it on? Spend it? Now? No, I need to save it. Why? From my mom, she needs medicine. Or I could save up to get a family license. Oh, I see. Kitty, look, Lenny's coming over. <laughs> well, well, well. It is the little dancer girl on her little skate. Yes, it is. <laughs> He's like, I don't really like being a bully. I thought I told you to give up on all that. He's probably telling, honestly, like he's a little bit older. So realistically, he's probably telling her that to stop it, from, to stop like her from getting the attention of the police and getting taken away. So it's really him keeping them safe. Come on, city. We got a reputation around here, cub and and about with your little baby dances ain't gonna do nothing but make us look soft. That's not fair, Lenny. I'm living my dream of making coppers. Look, I only see one copper in your hand and that ain't worth our dignity as a proper gang. We're tough as nails and don't need to be the entertainment of the rich folk to make our means. Stop picking on her. I made a copper too, that's two total. Is it a two-armed dandy Palama kid who, ain't, who don't even got his wings yet? I bet his pa is some kind of pompous suit wearer. <laughs> Fitting company for the delusional dreamer girl. Get over here and taste my fist, you crude, uncivil blockhead. <laughs> dandy thinks he can square up against Lenny. That would be silly. He's got a cane and you don't. I mean, he does. Stop. Stop. I don't want anyone getting hurt. He's been harassing us all day. Maybe he deserves it. And besides, City, if you're going to keep associating with the jabbering entertainers of the rich folk, I don't know if you should be in the beetroot gang anymore. You get me? Oh, rup. You live with a family with cash. What are you talking about, you dumb loafer? What kind of trick are you trying to pull? We know Lenny way better than you. He's not a liar. That's what you think. Show him, Kitty. Ooh. Wow. Don't pull her into this. She's definitely not okay with, like, what's happening right now. You're, like, ta you're tearing her away from her known family. Like, and you just met her yesterday. So that's a lot. Lenny, you better not kick me out or I'm going to show them the truth. Y you're... You're bluffing. You ain't got nothing to hide. And little fib and cubs like you don't belong in my gang. Get out of my sight. Oh. Aw. Is that? Lenny's been like, oh, she's standing on her, I'm sorry. I know this is a very dramatic moment. Like, definite mic drop 100%, right? But, like, she's standing on her tail, and that's so cute. Lenny's been lying to us this whole time. He's actually got two parents who got enough money to get a license. He just pretends to be a street kid to seem cool and like he should be the leader. Vera took it off him. You can ask her. It's as real as can be. See the picture on it? That's Lenny and his parents. Those were my parents, but they're dead now. I've been an orphan for years. <laughs> Why do you look about the same age as that picture as you do now? And the date on the license is from this year. I, you have been lying to us. Lenny, how could you? Do you kids still have that knife I gave you? You have one in your hand. This is all a big misunderstanding. I can't believe this. 
You were a rich kid the whole time. You've been taking advantage of us. We thought you were one of us. That you were good enough to get us out of any trouble. I bet you lied about being in a factory once like me too. No, I'm one of you guys. You know, we've been through so much together. Oh, she's definitely going to gut him. A hundred percent. But you also can't, like, lie to people. At least, like, tell them the truth. But they're all kids anyway. Who cares if I've got parents? I kept all of you kids safe with that license. And I was never going to really throw you out for your stupid dancing. I know how crappy the roots are, and I didn't want you to get thrown in the factories over something so silly. You... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, he should not have lied to them. But they're also all children. So let's be real here. Oh, he feels so excited and she's like, I'm horrified. We did it. We defeated him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, why the long face? He's not going to be bothering us anymore. The, the gang is splitting apart and it's all my fault. Whoa, 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 it's okay, kitty. I'm sure the gang will be all right. Lenny the bully will be kicked out and then everybody else, including you, will be all together. The rest of the beetroot gang is going to love you more. Now, you'll be the kid who exposed the big liar. I guess, but that can't feel good. Let's celebrate. I'll use my, cotton, my copper to get some cotton candy to share, huh? Then we can sing again and earn more. Okay. Huh. Who's that lady Lenny's talking to? She sure looks serious, like she's got to stick up her... It's her mom. Oh, no, that's a Green Star Administrator. She's coming right for us. Hurry, we need to... Uh-oh. I was told by a scruffy friend of yours that you urchin stole his family license. Is this true? Oh, they still have the license. So it's either him or them. What? No. And we're not urchins anyway, ma'am. My name is Zendela Magonis, and this is Felicity Rue. We both got parents. If you both have parents, then I'll have to see your family licenses, please. My family license? Yours. You don't? But your dad can afford it. I thought you had one, so you'd be safe to travel with. We've only been on this planet for like two days. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to come clean now. The truth is, I took his license. But you see, it was my fault. I wanted to prove to the other kid that Lenny was a liar. So he told us he was an orphan. That's why I took it, miss. He can have it back now here. So now you decide to give it back when you're asked to show your own. Hmm. Yeah. Why would children who have parents resort to stealing another child's license? Oh, no. I hope plushy lady saves us. Oh. Letting you roam dangerous streets unattended, not being able to provide proper licensure to their children. Yay. That's not fair. My dad's a great dad. We ran away on our own, miss. Our parents didn't know we came out here. Their parents clearly don't keep good watch over them, then. Was it? That sign behind you with your names, with that little stage, indicates you were performing here, yes? Mm -hmm. Did you purchase this fairground space? Or did you illegally set up a stage here without permission from the property owners? I, we, hold on. Come on, kids. Come with us. Oh. Let us go. Calm down, kids. If your parents really are out there, they can check you out of the system at Green Star's Dunest office. But my dad doesn't know I'm in Dunest. I... You are now being taken to the Green Star factory membership processing. Once guided through the necessary steps, you will become one of my wards in the largest factory in Falmeria. There you will have access to new clothing, regular meals, and a proper work schedule fitting a functioning member of Fomerian society, even though you're a child. And five extra minutes in the yard will be provided upon good behavior. Congratulations. You've been hired. Hired. 
Wait. Oh. How are we going to get out of here? Oh. We're just, just being taken to the processing place, right? My dad will come looking for me. He'll get us out of this. The officer said our parents can do that, right? Uh -huh. Wow, trusting the police. We'll be just dandy. You don't get it. Our parents are in the roots. We're all the way up in Dunest. They'll never come looking for us here. We'll be stuck in the factories with no way home. We'll have to work every day for hours and hours and never see our friends again. We might lose fingers, tails, ears to their machines. I'll, I'll have to perform late at night in the dark so I won't get caught. I'll never see Pa and Ma again. Oh. Wait, don't cry. W why not? If you can cry, I can too. I remember my mom said that if everybody in the room is crying, then nobody's looking for a solution. We need to buck up and find a way out of here before we're taken to the factory. You're right. You know, my dad escapes from cages and suitcases and handcuffs all the time. I know his tricks. I bet we can use something we find in here to break out. Okay, let's do this. All right, we got a stick. Got a stick. A bamboo branch? No, this is a Larissa reed. Some folks like to have them hanging out of their mouths when they suck on the end, suck at the inside, since the plant stuff in the reed is super juicy and chewy. This one's all hollow, though. A prisoner must have finished chewing on it while he's riding back here. Ooh, let's hang on to it. Okay, we've got a reed. We're definitely not getting through those. Not without a lot of butter or mayo or vegetable oil. Now I'm hungry. If our only moment of eating cotton candy together wasn't so cruelly taken from us, well, you know, maybe you shouldn't have, like, ratted out that kid. I'm just saying. There's a few pebbles near the door. Got tracked in by shoes, maybe. Oh, here's a nice sharp rock. That could be useful. All right. All right. All right. Van door locked. I saw the copper use a key. Maybe he still has it on him. We can find a way to snatch it. Yeah, we're not good like at that like Vera is, though. I could try to pick the lock. I've done it before. I just need to find something like a pred or a hairpin. Ma's got plenty of those. If only she were here. All right. All right. All right. What do we got over here? Well, we don't have a barrette or a hairpin. Hmm. But we do have this card. Our settings get reset through every scene, which is a little irksome, but... Oh! Some kind of stiff piece of metal? Looks like it's part of the van that got snapped off. Maybe when a really tough bad guy punched and kicked the sides. Or maybe this van's just old and rusty. That too. Could you use this metal to lockpick the door? It's too big. I could use it to pry something out, though. Like a nail I could use for a lockpick. None of the bolts in this van look like they could be pried out. Hmm. But we could perhaps use that on here. All right, not that. That, though. Ha, we got a long grabber. I know, we can use the string from your necklace and the hollow reed to make a restraint pole. I use these things all the time to grab, to grab the cockatrice when they're getting out of control. But instead of cockatrice next, we can use it to reach to the front window and grab the key from the officer. But without the string, my card might get lost easy. I really, really don't want to lose it. Oh, come on, kitty. My dad, dad's got a hundred of those cards. Give you a new one when we're safe. Well, all right. All right. So the window to the driver's seat. So, do you think they're lying? The girl, likely. The boy is dressed well enough to have kin. However, they, if they let him wander around with urchins and dance for coppers in a rundown fair, then I've half a mind not to inform them of his new location. He'll be better off learning a trade with us. Took in a filthy kid last week who ended up having an uncle. But I really didn't want to let him go. Saw the fear in the kid's eyes when the uncle walked in. Might send one of my boys to check, up on, check in on them soon. They are simply unfit to parents. It is how things are. Or maybe they were just terrified because they were in a very terrifying place. Didn't think about that one, huh? Green Star provides the kind of structure in children's lives. 
Better be working yourself to the bone than starving, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Do you mean to imply working hard is a negative? Well, you know, I worked in a factory for a bit before this gig, and it was pretty demanding. I'll be honest, I don't know how well the kids handle it. We don't give them the same work as the adults. Do you think they're weaving cloth or putting together vehicles? No, no, of course not. But I know how fast-paced and demanding it is. Just saying, I can see why the kids are scared to do it. I know it's ultimately for the best, but yeah. They are given a good deal of work, but nothing they can't handle. Even children must learn the value of effort to earn their meals. Okay, I think we can get him on our side, but not her. But I think we can definitely get him on our side. All right, let's see what else we can find here. These seats don't look like they haven't washed in a while. Just think about how many gross criminals have been in here. Probably really drunk guys who threw them all over the place. Or murderers still covered in the blood of their victims. We could be sitting in bloodstains right now. Well, you'd think so? Chimney crickets. Oh, the horror. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can combine anything. Do. Might need to use a little bit of uh, ingenuity here. Or there might just be something that I'm... Oh, prying the nails from her shoes! I used nails to hammer my shoes together. Now you can use one to lockpick us out of here. Oh, yeah! But I need it to be more bendy, like with some ridges on it. Mm. No, can't do that with my bare hands. Then let's find something that can. A uh, rock. Haha. -ha. Squiggly nail. Quick, Zin. Cough as soon as I hit the nail with the rock, okay? I'm going to do it a couple of times. we got to cover the noise. I don't think coughing is going to cover it. Let me try something else. Uh, okay, ready, go. Let me out right now, you big lugs. My dad's gonna sick you with his cockatrice army. Hey, keep it down back there. Any behavioral issues you display in this vehicle will apply to your permanent factory record. This can result in extra work time, disciplinary actions, or the culling of dessert from your dinner time menu. Sorry, Kate, that's all I can do. I really don't want to listen for look at losing cookies. Don't worry, it's finished. Can you work with this? Hmm. I think so. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Got that. Pick the lock. Oops. All right, let's work some magic. I thought you said you didn't want to do magic like your dad. Well, sure, I might not want to do it, but if I've got the chance to put these hours of boring training by dad to use by saving our butts, I'm not going to pass it up. Now watch this. Kitty? Yeah? It's not opening. I noticed. Maybe I should have paid more attention to those dad lessons and not daydreamed about shooting ranger laser guns. Maybe. So what do we do now? Find a way to get that key from the officer's pocket. But the window is too far from his pocket. Our little kid arms can't reach. We found a way to get the bendy nail. I'm sure we can find a way to get the key. Yeah. Maybe something to loop around and pull on it? Okay, we got that. Right here. All right, let's give this a shot. You can do it, Zin. You oversee all the kids at the Dunes Branch factory, right? What kind of cash are you getting paid for that? Not enough, I can assure you. Children are a handful at times. Some are too clever. They put their crafty natures into all the wrong pursuits. Hmm. Yeah. All right, we got the key. I got it. Good job, Zen. Let's get out of here. You know, we're talking very loudly. It works. The door's opening. Do we jump? Are you not got a choice? Close the door now. What? Oh, flung. Right into... Oh. Better run. We're gonna hoof it. How the hell are we gonna get back home now? Oh, that was a lot of running. That happens a lot when Green Star's around. Is she still following us? She doesn't know where we are, but she's going to find us soon. We need to keep running. 
She'll see us if we try running out of this alley. We gotta find a way through here. Okay. Memories of the Void. Romance paperback. This log is covered in thorny vines. If we want to use it for anything, those mean green things have got to go. I've seen some luminate who grow vines on themselves. Why do they do that? They can help you climb stuff. Improves your grit. In that case, why aren't you doing that? I'm already growing some flowers on me. Cute blue ones that help disarity a bit. You are? I can't see any. I've just planted them. They haven't grown yet. <laughs> he survived tyranny and getting rubbed out? Jeez. They should make a hollow reel about that. Events too far. Oh, we have three minutes. Okay, I... We need to move fast, friends. We only have a small amount of time. Jeffrey, these boxes are not unpacked yet. I don't want all... I don't want to all cloud up the garden. If you don't get these books unpacked and sorted in the shop tonight, you'll pay... Your pay will duck heavily. I don't want people... I don't want the people of Dunes thinking our bookstore is a landfill in the roots. Also, the delivery man accidentally gave us the Laria feed instead of taking it to Marcy's stable. Please take the bags over to her. Miss Helena. Okay. Uh -oh. Nothing here but weird books that have guys with no shirts kissing girls and flowery dresses on the cover. All right. Oof. We have a short amount of time to do things. That board's high up. Do you think we need it? Can't go wrong with having a sturdy piece of wood around. The gangs used to build some bridges over a hole in the junker last month. Okay. But how do I get to it? Do I use this? Okay. Our handy dandy grabber tool will make this easy. Okay, we got the board. Let's use the board to get to the vent. Nothing happened. Okay. Uh, that's not working for me. This rock, the, I, the metal piece is not sharp enough, but the rock is. Okay. This rock's sharp enough to cut the vines. Is this part of your plan? I think so. Okay. Excellent. So now we've got, look, we made a lever. Nino, will this lift the box? Enough to tip over what, where we need, to tip it over where we need it. Both of us need to get on it and have enough lift. Ready, go. Bonk. Perfect. Where'd you find that? You gotta do all kinds of things when you search for stuff in junkyards with your friends. We can reach the vent. Now to find a way to open it. It looks like it's screwed on, and we have a coin. This works as a screwdriver. Give me just a minute. And she's almost there. And done. Hurry, get in. Bonk. Ha <laughs> ha. Did it. <gasps> Run. Get back here. The black marks which now stain your records can only be wiped clean with compliance. Jeez. Oh, she knows. I mean, she obviously knows where we're going. We need to go. She's probably running around the block trying to find us on the side. We have to get back to our parents, but they're all the way down to the roots. These bird things. You said people ride on them. Why not ride one down? We really need to sing a song back to it, right? Oh, God, here we go. Yes, these are Lularia, but we can't just steal one. Look, the sign over there says it's two copper vent to ride one for an hour. We'll just leave the coppers we earned on the table. The birds know how to fly home on their own, right? Hmm. Yeah, fine. We haven't got much, got much time. We need to sing this song to it quickly and quietly before we're found. Hey. Sing softly. Hey there, big bird horse. Please let us ride you. We need your help. Okay, here we go. This is the one I'm going to F up. The songs are super cute. I like totally messed up where my fingers were. <laughs>
My hand-eye coordination is such trash. <laughs> but it's actually not too bad once you start getting used to it. It's just hard to tell where to hit. Wow. That's fine. I completely messed up the last part of the song. <laughs> but that's okay. We did it. We still got an A. You can ride one of these things, right? Uh, I think so. Go, Loli, go. Take us to the carousel theater. I don't know if that's the way this works, but we're going. <gasps> the card! Oh, she knows where they're going. I, I'm not great at it. <laughs> ah! But we're back down in the roots. Oh, maybe, maybe I don't want my wings just yet. I can't believe it. We made it. We made it. We're safe. We are. Yeah. You can go back home now, Lularia. Thank you for helping us. He's about to hurl. Wow, I'm actually really happy to see my family's old trailer for once. Oh, and hey, here comes my dad. He's coming? Your mother and I have been tearing our hair out trying to find you. Do you know how dangerous this area can be? I'm fine, Dad. I just went to the fair with my new friend, Kitty. Come on, Kitty, introduce yourself. She can't. She's starstruck. Hello, Kitty here. I am Felicity Drew. I met your son in the theater. We went to the fair together today. It's an honor to meet you, sir. And before you say anything, it was my idea to go to the fair, Dad. Kitty was the one who kept me safe and away from the bad areas. She knows the city real well. She even saved me from a gang. Gang of man. It's a... <laughs> Thank you for helping my son. However, Sincello, how could you have just up and left without even leaving a note? You've never done anything like this before. So since we didn't find you in the theater, I was just about to phone the authorities. No. No. Don't call them. I'm sorry for running off, Dad. I wanted to leave a note, but I forgot because I was so excited to see the fair. Kitty and I wanted to perform there to make some money of our own. Kitty wanted to do some of her fun dancing for people, and I wanted to try out doing stand-up. We ended up just singing since we could do that together, and they liked it. The people that watched gave us two coins. Here, let me show... Oh, yeah. We spent the coins to buy a ride down here. You went to the fair to perform your own act? Oh, son, I'm proud that you want to make a name for yourself, even making friends in the process, but you can't just run off in a city you barely know with someone you barely know. You're very lucky that Miss Rue is a kind girl, else God knows what could have happened. Listen, next time you want to go and do something like that, just tell me about it first, all right? I know you are unenthusiastic about learning magic, but I can guide you in different ways, too. I could have helped you get a booth at the fair. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, Mr. Magonis. And, Miss Rue, you have nothing to apologize for. You kept my son safe. I thank you for that. Oh, thank you, sir, but I gotta say that Zinn helped me, too. He's very smart, and it was thanks to us working together that we escaped trouble. What, what kind of trouble did you run into, exactly? Ooh! Are these your children? Uh, yes. The boy is, ma'am. The girl is his friend. What is wrong? Have they done something? They have indeed. Hmm. Illegally performed on fairgrounds, roamed Dunest alone without a family license, resisted Green Star acquisition, caused vehicular collision, stole a Lularia mount. Yes, yes. They have much to answer for. What? That lady tried to kidnap us. We had to escape her by breaking out of the van and then riding a Lilaria down, which we didn't steal because we left our coins at the stable to pay for it. Sir, we didn't do anything, please. 
The facts are that these two children responded doing criminal acts without even possessing a family license. On these grounds, they were apprehended and sent to factory processing. Since you are the father of this boy, we will not be enrolling him in the factory. However, you are responsible for repaying damages. Sheesh! And since you are a visitor to this planet, I will let you off with a warning over the lack of a family license. Though you may rest assured the fact that we will be checking in here and there to determine if your child is properly cared for. I'll be applying for a license right away, ma'am. Come willingly, and your food rations may be left intact. He might be poor, but he does care for me as best as he can. You can't take me away from him. She was recently hired to work for me as a magician apprentice. Miss Rue has no need to work in the factories. In fact, at my next show, she will be singing and dancing to entertain the audience during intermission. All right, Magonis, coming in clutch. You claim she dances for your audience. Then let her dance. Surely she has a routine if she surely is your protege. I can prove it. Oh, God. I'm dancing for my life here. Felicity the Great. Oh, my God. <laughs> the music is like cute. I think the only thing that it needs is the ability to kind of see better. Especially because the keys are pretty far away. <laughs> Zin is so proud of you. So it's kind of like hard to see when there's pretty far away from each other. And to tell exactly when you're supposed to hit them. Oh, totally worked him up. <laughs> I kind of booping along to the music because it's just like kind of catchy. says don't fuck it up <laughs> right that's exactly what i thought <laughs> hey mike how are you happy spring to end cancer month day two let's go oh my god we did it they're so proud of us wonderful job oh my god that was a little nerve-wracking go kitty fine I will accept this rather loose excuse for now. However, this does mean that as her only proven guardian, you are also responsible for paying her damages. I understand. The bills will be arriving at your domicile forthwith. The children of Mothra. <laughs> 
and I should hope this would be readily apparent to your child brain, but if I see you running around causing trouble again, I will not be so lenient. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She's pissed. I will now take my leave. Your dad's going to be so pissed off at you. I will be checking to see if the Lilaria was truly paid for and if it's safely returned to its home. Goodbye. Oh, Lord, this is going to be a big bill, isn't it? Sir, thank you for helping me. I'm so sorry about anything and all the fees. What you told that lady about me being an apprentice really saved my tail. She took that lie hook, line, and sinker. Thank you. No, you got to repay. Girl, you're not, you're not off the hook. You're going to have to repay that. Oh, Miss Rue, my career may be one of deception, but my personal life is one of truth. If you are so inclined, I would be honored to have you as my magician in training. Though, I must empathize that I cannot properly pay you until your part of the bill is paid off. Wow. <laughs> She's excited about it, at least. Kitty, you're going to be taking my place. Win-win for both of us. Plus, you're going to hang out with me all the time. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. I'm so happy. It's like, you just ruined that other kid's life. This is definitely a labor violation. Like, you, the, you don't see how this is better, right? Like, this isn't better. Just because you get to do something that you like doesn't mean that, like, this is better. <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother that you're back. Don't move while I'm gone. Don't worry, Dad. I'm not moving anytime soon with these grippy girl arms around me. Thank you so much, Zen. No problem, Kitty. Though it's my dad that needs most of the things, I guess. I, uh, hope we can pay for all that. Felicity? Aw, your dad. It's too bad, too bad that dad doesn't have more lines because his voice actor is really good. I was searching, searching all night for you in all the places I know you like. Oh, Felicity. I was sure. I thought for sure Green Star got you. Oh, kid, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have yelled like that. I just, I just couldn't stand the thought of losing you, of you being alone in the factories. But what I said, it only made you want to leave. I'm sorry, Felicity. Of course you don't want to listen. You wouldn't want to listen to your pa who doesn't listen to you. Oh, pa. You were right, pa. I shouldn't have gone out without the gang. I got in real bad trouble today because I didn't listen. I got out of it, but it was close. I'm sorry. I didn't want to have to tell your ma that. That. Pa, what happened with your knee? It got worse? Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Just walked around too much. Just need to rest. Who's this fella? Oh, hello, sir. Son of the great Magonis. Your daughter and I went and performed together. She's real talented. You should be proud. But you should have heard how great Zinn was at singing to the Laria. He's now a permanent part of my act. I took a dinner to the knee. That's it. He's got to retire. Maybe he gets a job with the great Magonis? Laria. And wait, isn't Magonis the guy on your poster? Yep. And guess what, Mr. Kitty's dad? She's got a new gig as a magical apprentice. She'll be working on learning how to perform. City, is that true? Yeah, Pa, I've got a real job with money and everything. Well, before you both get too excited, let me have a talk with your pops, Zindalo. Gotta make sure this is legitimate at all. Sure, he's in the caravan over there. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, like, 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 you're done. I might dad have to talk because this is kind of like important. I love you. Oh. <laughs> Looks like every, everyone's pop's story today, huh? We did scare him pretty bad, didn't we? But hey, since your dad is getting you a family license, then you'll be able to go with me to all kinds of neat places here. You're right. And who knows? We could start performing all over the planet. Maybe off world too. I'll be the zillion doke zindello. Zillion, zo zillion joke. I can't talk. Zindello or the make you grin zin. Mm. Yeah. What about you, Kitty? Think you'll stick with Felicity Rue the Great? Seems a bit too close to my dad, though. 
Actually, I think I'm going to stick with a new name. Something that's uniquely me. Something like... The end of the game! <gasps> oh, mom in the hospital. So that's how I got to be the apprentice of my favorite magician ever. Dad and I are going to visit in a few days. Get well soon. Love? The fantastic Kitty Roo. And that's it. We finished it. This was really cute. It had a very cute story. Very simple. Very like... Very cute. I liked it a lot. I like this. Yeah, I, th I thought this was really cute. This was really good. I'm definitely like glad that it was a game that I could stream from start to finish. And one of those games that like it wasn't too taxing or anything on my hands, which was perfect. I was nervous about like the um, the the rhythm parts. The rhythm parts definitely need a little bit of tweaking. If not just for the fact that having the ability to see like when it was going to hit is much better. Um, but other than that, that was very fun. I had a wonderful time and I'm so glad that you guys were able to do this with me and hang out with me while I played this game because I think it's a lot of fun to be able to do these things on stream. Let me uh, pull up Chrome. Let's see what we got over here. But yeah, so that's it. That was it. That's all we got to do for today. Thank you guys for being here with me. I greatly appreciate you. I am going to see if Pirate is live because if Pirate is live, we're going to go hang out over in his stream today. I wonder if he's playing Destiny. I know Pirate's been getting real into Destiny too. Um, choo -choo -choo. Okay. If you came in with Krebs Raid, we are about to do full circle because Krev was playing Power Wash Simulator. You know what Pirate's gonna be doing. If you know Pirate, you know what Pirate's gonna be doing. So we've got Power Wash Simulator, My Little Cozy Game, right back into the Final Fantasy VII DLC for Power Wash Simulator, right into Pirate Stream, so I think that's perfect. Every's released a new Beach Wheel episode, which is perfect, because I am gonna crack open a beer, because Desaya walked up to me with chocolate and a beer before stream, and I have never wanted to be married to this man more than in that moment of walking up to me with chocolate and a beer. But I knew I'd be reading, so I didn't want to drink, because then I, I mess up my words sober, y'all. Trust me. <laughs> it doesn't go any better when I'm drinking. <laughs> so, we're gonna go hang out with Pirate, have a really nice, stream over there but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you came in with Krebs Raid I greatly appreciate you these are my socials you can come and see me over on TikTok Twitter YouTube and Instagram better on TikTok and better on Twitter usually where I hang out I'll be live on Sunday and I'll be playing the um I'll be playing Hotel Renovator or Animal Crossing kind of depends on my day and doing my planner. I'm going to do a February wrap up as well as kind of setting up for March and seeing what's good with that. If you're coming with, my raid call is right there. If you're a sub, you got the height emote. If you don't, you've got the bleed purple emote. So let's go say hello to Pirate and I'll see you guys on Sunday around 9 a.m. Eastern time. Depends on what time I wake up. So between 9 and 10 a.m. I only get to sleep in two days a week past 5 a.m. So I take advantage of it on the weekends. Until then, I will see you guys soon and I'll catch you in Pirate stream. Bye!